Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Daniel Cross, and today I want to talk to you guys about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare yet again. I wanted to go over the EXO abilities and the actual launcher um, equipment that a lot of people kind of skipped over. I think a few videos of this already exist and they actually explain them, but uh, personally, I've been getting tons of requests to go over this, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about it one more time. If you guys have missed any of my videos, I have links in the description for a playlist of all my Advanced Warfare videos. It has about 30 minutes of Advanced Warfare gameplay. Uh, a bunch of in-depth stuff, so if you guys want to go check that out, please be my guest. I would appreciate it. The support for Advanced Warfare on my channel has been phenomenal within the last few days. I can't thank you guys enough for liking my videos, sharing them. Um, it's really humbling to actually have this success right now. So I want to thank you again for that. Now let's actually talk about the EXO abilities, and then I will go into the launcher or whatever you guys want to call it, the equipment itself. All right, so first up, we have the EXO shield, a quick deployable shield attached to your EXO's arm. This is basically the riot shield. It's just a return of that. You tap the, you tap a bumper, and basically it pops right up, and then you just have that there. It lasts for maybe five to ten seconds. It lasts for a little bit of a time to where you can kind of play peekaboo with people. It uh, works out pretty well. Chaos Silencer used it. Um, sometimes, like if you don't pull that thing up quick enough they can kind of kill you and then at the same time if you run out of time with it um, you're just kind of a meat shield and you'll die anyway so I don't think it's gonna be a big issue because the amount of time it takes you to pull that shield up if someone's already shooting at you and they got one or two shots in more than likely it's just gonna be really easy to finish you off especially with uh, you know clipping a toe or something like that so riot shields should not be a big issue don't sweat it now let's talk about overclock. Increased foot speed basically allows you to run faster this is gonna be kind of interesting because it's kind of a burst you just turn it on and you could run a little bit quicker and you get to where you need to go. Uh, cap the flag, something like that, that'd probably be huge on. Uh, Exo Stim, this is one that I don't necessarily like, but at the same time I can understand it. And it's kind of like, eh, why are you guys doing this? But uh, I've only had, I ran into it once. One time in the entire, I think, six hours that I played the game, I ran into it once and I was using a sniper rifle, so it was kind of tedious. But it is basically called Exo Stim and it is a temporarily generate health beyond normal levels. So it's kind of essentially juggernaut, but for a fraction of the time. It's very short, and it doesn't necessarily make them super strong, but I did get a hit marker on it. So it's something that you use, you basically press your bumper, and then you run right into a building, um, it, or run in onto a hard point, something like that. It allows you to take a few more shots and heal instead of just dying right away and not actually take that extra damage. So it is useful in a sense of being tactical, but at the same time, it is very frustrating and annoying to be on the receiving end of if you're using a sniper rifle like a bolt action or something like that. You know, it's going to take two shots to kill that person. Keep that in mind if you run into it. Just shows a big plus marker, and it's pretty obvious when you hit it. Um, it kind of confused me at first because I wasn't sure what happened to me at least. Uh, the next one is Exo Cloak. Visually conceal yourself for a short duration. Uh, guys, we've all seen Cloak before. It's not that big of a deal. They just kind of disappear for a quick second. You can still see them and they move around. If you're not paying attention, this could actually bite you in the ass because um, if people are behind you and you don't realize it, you know, you can't see them right away, um, it can definitely cause some interesting moments in the game. So to me, it's not a big deal because of how long it lasts. And the Exo abilities altogether, they only last once per life. So if you use them, one time and you use them for the full charge you're done you can't use it that rest of that life so that's why i don't think cloak's going to be a big deal because i think people are going to pop it you know in the last 10 seconds and then they're out of it for the entire game unless you know they get killed and then they can spawn back in and use it one more time uh it's going to definitely change search though so that'll be kind of unique to see exo hover hover in place for a short duration i didn't necessarily find this very beneficial it can be at times if you jump off a building and you're still shooting someone, you just tap it and you can kind of hover while you're on the edge and shoot back at them so it's not a big deal. You don't just fall off right away. But uh, other than that, I'd rather just have the normal EXO ability and replace it with something else. Uh, EXO Ping, this is the one I used. And I actually kind of like this one. It's kind of Some people say it's kind of cheap, but for me, I'm a strategic player and I definitely think this will be unique and kind of creative on how you can use this. EXO Ping is show enemy EXO movement and weapons fire in your HUD. So I wanted to make sure I read that right. Basically, if you're using your EXO suit and you're an enemy and I have Ping up and I'm running it, uh, basically I can see where you're moving on the map. It kind of highlights you. It makes you bright red, puts this big outline on you. You can see them through walls and you can also see them on your mini-map. So that's something to keep in mind for people that aren't using uh, certain perks to hide your exo movement, like the blast suppressor or something of that sort, but uh, it's definitely very useful and kind of unique in terms of maybe being able to use it for a clip in order um, to kind of carry on in the sniper montage. You can see if someone's behind a wall or not, if they're boosting around or if they're shooting. So keep that in mind, it's probably one of the ones that people are gonna be using quite a bit. 
The next one is Exo Trophy System. Basically, it makes yourself a tro trophy system. Uh, destroy incoming enemy grenades and rockets. So if people are shooting rockets or grenades at you, it takes care of them and kind of keeps you alive. Now, I'm not 100% sure on how many grenades or things it'll uh, kind of destroy, but I'm not sure how many you can survive even then. So don't quote me on that, but I just know it does block grenades, and it works pretty well. Um, this is also on the Goliath kill streak. if you guys aren't familiar with that. So... I uh, just wanted to throw that out there. Now let's actually get into the equipment. This is the launcher. This is basically your right hand and how you can uh, use grenades, frags, stuns, EMPs, whichever. And I'll go through these real quick. Basically we have a frag grenade, which is a cookable frag grenade. Same thing that we've had throughout the past history of any Call of Duty. Just looks a little bit different and fires a little bit different. Uh, the stun grenade. Blinds, distorts, and slows enemies can manually be detonated. So this is new. This is something like a C4 in a sense, but in the type of a stun grenade. So you can manually detonate this whenever you choose to, or you can just throw it out there and let it detonate on its own. So that's kind of a key point to notice, at least with this grenade. The explosive drone. This is something that people aren't going to like because it acts like an IED. And the way someone explained this to me, there were like two options, and I hope someone in the comments can actually clarify this for me. Um, if you played it at Gamescon or if you played it before, or actually used this individual equipment itself. Now, when you shoot it out normally, it flies around, and it's basically a grenade with wings. Like, that's the best way to explain this thing. And it flies around and it finds a target. If you don't have a certain perk on, like Blind Eye or Cold Blooded, it will hunt you down and just blow up in your face. So it moves around the map, it moves pretty slow, it's not a big deal, you could probably get out of the way, but if you're in a building and someone launches one of these at you and they're close by, more than likely it could catch up to you. Now, with that being said, this is the part that I want you guys to actually clarify if you've had some experience at Gamescon, is I've heard that you can actually shoot this onto a wall and it acts more like a claymore and proximity mine. So it actually, instead of flying around, it just sticks to the wall and sits there. Um, this is something that's kind of unique because obviously, I'm not a big fan of IEDs, claymores, anything that can be used as campy, and this kind of comes into that. So uh, if someone knows and they want to actually come in here and confirm that, let me know. I'm more than interested to figure that out because if that's the case, that's kind of an issue. Uh, that's just how it was described to me that someone at Gamescon was using it and they got a bunch of kills that way. So that's kind of something that you might want to watch out for. Go ahead and throw a flak jacket on and you won't have any problem. Now, let's actually move on to the next one, which is called the uh, tracking drone. The tracking drone is something I used in my gameplay. Basically, it's like the explosive drone, a little bit different. It's like a portable radar. And from my understanding, you can actually stick this one to the ground, and it kind of like pings outwards a little bit. And then if you actually shoot it and it flies around, it will literally track someone around the map, figure out where they are, and find them, and kind of light them up so you can see them. Um, they are kind of aggressive. They do have a good distance, and they also follow you around within a certain set limit, I, from my understanding. At least mine did. Mine stayed pretty darn close to me and found other people that were um, you know, within my range. Simtex is also making a return. Basically, it's a time sticky grenade. You can't detonate this however you want. Basically, once you throw it, it just blows up like a normal frag grenade. This one is called the threat grenade. Temporarily show enemies through walls can manually be detonated. So this is kind of like the exo ping, but a little bit different in grenade form. Uh, somewhat kind of useful if you're in the middle of a game trying to cap a flag and you want to know if people are around you. Definitely see that being useful. The next one is the EMP grenade. Disable enemy equipment and exo movements and can manually be detonated. So you can stop people from using their exo suit if you have this. You can also manually detonate it. Those are two key points to keep in mind with this equipment. I thought that's kind of unique that it does shut down your exosuit, but it makes sense. It's an EMP grenade. Your exosuit, you know, basically runs off energy and electricity, so uh, why not do that? It definitely cripples people. Of course, they bring back the smoke grenade. This is pretty simple. Uh, it can m be manually detonated as well, so you can throw that out and blow it up right away whenever you choose to or when you want to, um, depending on how that works. Now we get into the variable grenade. This is something a little bit... Uh, unusual and we saw this in the trailer to an extent but they did have some tracking grenades with it so that's not the case but uh, the variable grenade can cycle through the stun EMP threat and smoke uh, the only difference here is since it can cycle you cannot manually detonate these um, once you throw them they have to detonate within their own timer keep that in mind when you're using them and then the spike drone this is something that we saw in the trailer as well I was kind of confused I was like so where's the tomahawk where's the throwing knife you know like where's something like that that we've had before this is basically it um, the unique feature of this or the unique catch of this is basically a lethal drone that is thrown out and uh, can return to you on your command so you can throw this at someone and if you miss you basically press a button and it comes flying right back to you now that's going to be unique in, or in order to actually get some like montage clips or something kind of like that P kind of throw it pull it back and hit someone on the way back I think that'd be kind of unique to see 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to go ahead and continue to watch a few more, go ahead and click the videos that are going to come up on the screen. Check out the description for all my advanced warfare stuff. If you guys appreciate me for making a lot of these, go ahead and leave a like on this video. I greatly appreciate that myself. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon with another one. Leave your comments down below. As always, take care.